Hello friends, I welcome you all in the lecture series of quantum calculations. In last lecture, I show you the file structure of quantum espresso input file. In this lecture, I will show you how we can implement the quantum espresso input file in uh, atomic simulation environment using Python script. First of all, I'm apologize for that. I'm not posting video frequently because of some important work, but I'm trying to make videos and post as much as possible okay so today i'm going to talk on how we can write a python script to run a quantum espresso input file in first lecture i show you how we can run quantum espresso input file using pw.x command as well as i show you how we can run atomic simulation python code using in google collab okay i'm going to explain the structure of asc python script in this lecture so let's begin so this is the normal look of the python code there are some segments are available in this code so we will talk about these segments one by one okay so first is we have to import all the modules which are required for the calculation we will import the atomic simulation environment build uh, build option uh, in which i will import a bulk basically this module is required to create a structure or import the initially available structure in the database okay next i will import uh, from asc calculator quantum espresso calculator okay and also espresso profile to create a profile for the calculation okay and next i will import the input output for reading and writing the structure okay so initially we will require uh, these modules only for the calculation of scf calculation there are some other modules we will which will require in further calculation which we will talk in later section okay next i will import the crystal structure in my python core for that i have to just write uh, create one variable si i am creating one variable si and writing bulk i have to use this keyword bulk and i have to write the initial of my structure that is i am going to import si so i will write si and write the crystal structure uh, which is a diamond and the uh, lattice parameter a is equal to 5.5 i can import the crystal structure of silicon from the database and i'm assigning this crystal structure to the variable this small si side by side i'm going to run all these things in google collab so for the convenience i have already written this code over here so i'm going to run this one already show you how we can uh, create a folder and how we can import the pseudo potential file in our folder so for that you have to watch that video first and we can create this folder and run this calculation so here you can see i have already created this folder si and i'm going to uh, write all the calculation in this si folder okay i have already written these things over here and i'm going to run this one so it is running successfully here you can see next next i have to define the pseudo potential which i am going to use for the calculation for that i am creating one variable pseudo and assigning this value using dictionary so here you have to write the initial of your uh, crystal that is si and the file name of your pseudo potential here it is written okay next we have to set some quantum espresso for profile this uh, profile is used when we are running all this calculation in google collab but if you have uh, atomic simulation environment and google uh, sorry quantum espresso in your computer in that case you don't need to set up the profile for the calculation so in this profile i have to just write the command is equal to the path of my pw.x uh, file okay so pw.x file is in user slash bin slash pw.x and i have to write the path for the pseudo potential so my pseudo potential is in the, is in the same folder for that i have to write dot this slash okay so this is how we can create a profile for the quantum espresso okay let me run that part also in my so here i have written a pseudo potential file and profile for the quantum espresso let me run this one okay so this is also run successfully okay now next part is to define the control parameter for the calculation now these control parameters are exactly same 
which are you we use in quantum espresso input file for example we have control uh, tab right so in that control tab we have calculation is scf so here you have to specify which type of calculation you are using uh, going to do i am going to perform scf calculation for that i have written scf if we are using relax calculation so that in that case you have to write relax or we see relax and so on verbosity is high pseudo potential directory is same and t trace is equal to true is the meaning of all these things i have already explained in my last video so please check out that video also okay uh, here you don't need to specify the pseudo potential directory because we have already uh, mentioned in setup okay so input data for the calculation are e cut e cut row e cut wave function diagonalization occupation smearing mixing mode mixing beta d gauss and n spin all these things we have to mention which are used for the calculation the input data which is used for the calculation so we have to specify all this parameter in our file okay okay so now let me run this part also and input data so we have control tab and other tab also i have written over here so let me run this one also okay so this one is also uh, running x successfully now now the major part is we have to attach all these parameters to the espresso okay for that i have created one variable calculator I'm going to attach all these parameter which i have already explained so i have to write espresso so profile uh, the profile is already created so you have to profile is equal to profile pseudo potential is equal to pseudo here i should write a pseudo only because because here you can see i have assigned this variable for the pseudo potential so i have to write pseudo only next we have to specify the k point which we are going to use for the calculation here here i have specified 3 comma 3 comma 3 and input data is equal to input data so input data i have already explained all this uh, setting parameter which we are going to use for the calculation is in the input data tab okay okay so i have attached all the parameter which are used for the calculation in quantum espresso to the calc variable and i am attaching this calc variable to the uh, my crystal structure si so i have written si dot calc is equal to calc okay so this is how you can attach any calculation to the your structure if you are using vas in that case also you have to uh, specify the all the parameter in the vas format okay so let me run this part also calc and here i have attached uh, si dot calc is equal to calc so i have attached this calculator to the structure silicon okay and the last part is to perform the scf calculation for that i have to just write my structure name dot get potential get underscore potential underscore energy in bracket okay so this is how i can perform the scf calculation and i will print the optimize energy of my crystal structure for that i have to just write energy so total energy of the optimized structure is energy okay so this part also so here, here you can see energy is equal to silicon dot get potential energy print the total energy so energy this variable contained the total energy of my system okay i have already run this one but for the time being i am going to run this again so here, here you can see the total energy of the system is minus 12 point sorry minus 213 okay so this is how you can perform the simple scf calculation using atomic simulation environment let me show you the input and output file also so in si folder i have pw dot in okay so this is input file of my uh, quantum space input file here you can see the calculation type is scf calculation okay and all the parameter e cut row e cut wave function occupation d gauss smearing all these things are same as i have written in my python code okay so uh, this k points 3 cross 3 cross 3 this is sampling for the below zone cell parameter and atomic position here you can see the cell parameter and atomic position are required to write in quantum espresso input file but whenever you are writing a code in 
Python. You don't need to specify this cell parameter, atomic position, uh, in a, also eyebrow, eye net, eye type. Okay, all these things you don't need to specify when whenever you are using atomic simulation environment. Now let me show you the output file. You can see this is the output file. Uh, let me go down. So you can see the job has been done and the convergence is achieved let me show you okay so the convergence is achieved in four iteration and the total energy of the system total energy of the system is uh, 15.69 Rydberg and the Fermi level is also written shown over here okay so this is how you can perform the SF calculation using uh, atomic simulation environment okay okay so today we uh, so today we have learned how we can simply run the SF calculation using atomic simulation environment in next lecture i will show you how we can perform the relaxed calculation using atomic simulation environment thank you